in the midst of an energy crisis gripping France, this massive soybean harvester produces his crop under solar panels without difficulty. Agrivoltex is on the rise. In the oat zone region in northeastern France, an experiment is being conducted to see if solar energy can be generated without hindering large-scale cereal crops. 5,000 photovoltaic panels are being spread over this farm, and the crossover could be revolutionary for both the agricultural and solar panel industry. According to TSE, one of the main producers of solar energy in France, the production of 2.5 megawatts peak, equivalent to the consumption of 1,350 inhabitants, is scheduled to be connected to the power grid in early December. They are able to follow the path of the sun, and the solar panels can also shift vertically to let rain pass. And horizontally, they can limit the damage of hail, or make the ground gain or lose a few degrees Celsius. Everyone likes uh, growing things, everyone likes to see a garden, and so I've been blown away by how much interest there's been by staff and, and researchers across the entire lab. Here we're exploring agrivoltaics, which is combining solar energy with agriculture. And agriculture can be vegetable production, it can be pollinator habitat, it can also be pasture grasses that can support animal grazing. We are able to look at uh, eight different types of crops, as well as two different types of pollinator mixes and two different types of pasture grasses. And what we're trying to do is compare uh, how different types of vegetation perform under the open sun, open air, as well as how they perform underneath the partial shade of the solar panels. So we have fruiting plants like tomatoes and peppers. We also have root crops like carrots. And then we have leafy greens, as well as herbs like basil. In many cases, solar projects are built on agricultural lands and you could have a lot of pushback from landowners or their surrounding communities who don't want to see prime agricultural land getting taken out of production. Agrivoltaics really offers us the opportunity to continue agricultural production while also producing clean electricity.